let us talk about the essential components of Java that is JDK, JVM and JRE which are required to execute any Java code. So you have to be familiar with these and even this is a topic which is asked frequently in interviews what is the difference between them, how this works and all that. So uh, that is what I, we are going to talk about it right now. First of all talking about JVM that is Java Virtual Machine. So it is a virtual machine of Java. So what is virtual machine first of all? So virtual machine simulates the physical machine with the help of a software or maybe some hardware in some cases. Okay, so it simulates the real environment for execution of certain task, right? So same thing is here also. So if you want to execute Java code, Java virtual machine provides you a environment where you can execute your Java code with the help of which you can execute the Java code, right? So this is the most essential component among JVM, JDK and JRE because it's the basic component, the core component. So what JVM does is, you can see a diagram here. So which first uh, part of this diagram is class loader subsystem. So first of all, you write a Java code, okay? And the name of the file of the Java is your dot Java extension. So when you try to execute it, the first thing which happens is that dot Java extension is converted to dot class, okay? So this is the class file which is being referred over here. So this class file goes as an input to the class loader subsystem and who converts this, uh, you know, dot Java file to dot class that I'll tell you later. But right now, this class file is given to the class loader subsystem in a JVM environment, you know, for JVM. So class loader subsystem further interacts with the different memory areas of JVM, that is heap area, stack area, method area and PC registers. Then these interacts with the execution engine and also few native libraries to finally execute this dot class file and give you the output. Okay. Now, I'll talk about each of these one by one. Class loader subsystem, what it does? So, it basically performs three steps. One is loading, linking is the next one and the last one is verification. So, broadly classified into three steps. Inside this also so many small, small things are there which it does. So broadly it is loading, linking and verification. So loading meaning it loads the dot class file to the JVM. Okay. Meaning loading means basically what it does. So in technical terms, if I tell you loading means it is going to give the information related to this dot class file. Meaning, uh, is there any enumeration present in the cl dot class file? What is the parent class of it? Is there a child class linked to it? So all these kind of information is given to the JVM. That is your loading. So basically it loads the file. Okay, so linking performs two, three activities. The major ones are that it verifies that the file is structurally correct. So what structure it should follow? Is it following? Like there's a fixed structure format, right, in Java program. So linking does that as one of the major tasks. Second task it does is it initializes all the static variables, okay. So these kind of tasks are done with the, in the linking step by the class loader subsystem. So last step is verification, which is also referred as your initialization basically. So it verifies or initialize all the static members of a, cl a class or static members in a file, Java file, meaning all the static blocks, the static variables, because these static things are executed before even the main method gets executed, right? So that has to be taken care by some aspect of the JVM or some component of JVM. So that is done by the class loader subsystem itself. Now I'll explain you the different memory areas of uh, JVM, that is heap area, stack area, method area and PC registers. So this is the important one. You might not be aware of also method area. So method area is used by the JVM to load the information related to your class files. So as I told you that class loader subsystem loads the information uh, like what is a parent class of it, is there a constant there or static variables there or whatever information is there for a dot class file, all that information is loaded into this method area. So this method area is created when the class file itself is loaded to the memory, okay. Next is your heap area and stack area. So heap area is for storing all your objects. It is basically that area which is defined for the program to be executed, okay? So that is your heap area. Stack area stores the values of the variables at the runtime. So stack area is created late 
at the runtime when variables are used and uh, there are different values being assigned to the variables. So those has to be stored somewhere. So that is your stack area. Okay. PC registers. So you know that the uh, different registers are involved in performing the operations or calculations. So that those are stored in this particular memory area. Okay. So this is all about the various memory areas of JVM. Then there is an execution engine with which they interact and also certain libraries which with they interact and this complete structure represents your JVM. So you understood what is the task or what is done by JVM, one of the major core component of uh, Java. Now I'll talk about the execution engine in little bit of more detail that what this execution engine exactly consists of. So execution engine consists of the interpreter, JIT compiler and garbage collector. Garbage collector is used for allocation and deallocation of memory of the variables or objects. Okay. So the garbage collection is done automatically in Java. We don't do as a developer or a programmer, don't write anything related to garbage collector. And that is present in the execution engine of JVM. Okay. So it automatically gets active when an object has to be freed and deleted from memory and the space has to be freed up. Next is your JIT compiler. So JIT stands for just-in-time compiler. So just-in-time compiler because it is faster. Okay. And what it does is it generates the intermediate code, then it optimizes the code and then converts that code into a machine level code. That is the work of a normal compiler also, right? What a compiler does, converts your high level code to a machine level code, correct, for it to execute. So JIT compiler also does the same thing. Just in time just refers to the fact that it is faster in speed. Then there is also an interpreter. So where interpreter comes in picture, when the .java file is converted to dot class file is done by the interpreter. So it, it interprets line by line and converts it into a dot class file. Okay. This dot class file is also called as your byte code. And this is a byte code which makes Java a portable programming language. Right. So this byte code once converted by an interpreter. So this byte code can run on any machine. It is not machine dependent. And that is done by the JVM that is interpreter execution engine of the JVM and that is the reason we say that because of JVM Java becomes a portable programming language. Okay, So this was about the execution engine of JVM. So this is all about JVM. Now what is JRE? Stands for Java Runtime Environment. So JVM we understood. Now along with JVM if you include certain library support which we have from Java or Oracle. Right, we have so many library support, lang, right, it's a small l, lang, util, math, swing, so many inbuilt packages are there, right, those are called as your libraries and with the help of this and along with JVM, this creates or constitutes the complete Java runtime environment, okay, so that is your JRE. Now what is JDK? So JDK is the complete development kit. It involves JVM, it involves JRE as well as certain other things. Now, what is the certain other things? Certain other things means the development tools like the Java C. You remember if you execute a code of Java, what we type the command from the command prompt is Java C. Then the space and the name file name, suppose file.java, right? So this Java C is what? It compiles or converts the code from dot Java file to the dot class file, right? And this is a development tool which is present over here. Then you execute the Java code. So after this, what we write a command? Java space file. So this basically is a dot class file, a byte code, right? And this Java is nothing but it is referring to one of the development tool which is going to execute that code now. So JVM and libraries, that is JRE, plus all these development tools together constitutes a Java development kit. So whenever you have to run a Java file on your laptop or a system, you have to have the JDK, that is a complete Java development kit installed on your laptop. Then only you can execute any Java code, right? Because these are important. You can just not have only JRE, you cannot just have only JVM, you need to have a JDK, a full package to run any Java code. So let me tell you a few important facts which about you know, each of them. So can you run Java code without JDK? 
कैन यू सो आफ्टर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉट जे डी के वॉज विदाउट जावा सी जावा कैन यू रन द जावा फाइल नो राइट सो द आंसर इज नो वॉट हैपन्स इफ द जे आर ई वर्जन डिफर्स फ्रॉम द जे डी के वर्जन सो जे आर ई इज डिफरेंट वर्जन जे डी के इज डिफरेंट वर्जन वट वुड हैपन विद दैट कैन यू हैव दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नो यू कैन नॉट जे आर ई इज पार्ट ऑफ जे डी के राइट सो इट शुड हैव द कंपैटिबिलिटी बिटवीन द बोथ इफ यू विल हैव यू माइट हैव कंपैटिबिलिटी इशूज और यू माइट हैव कंपैट एम एरर समवेयर बट इट इज बेटर और एडवाइजबल टू हैव द सेम वर्जन वाई इज जे वी एम प्लेटफॉर्म इंडिपेंडेंट आई आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन ऑलरेडी दैट वाई इज जे वी एम प्लेटफॉर्म इंडिपेंडेंट बिकॉज ऑफ द बाइट कोर दैट इज डॉट क्लास फाइव विच इज क्रिएटेड बाय द जे आर ई राइट एंड दैट क्लास फाइव इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ एनी मशीन एनी अंडरलाइंग मशीन इट कैन एग्जीक्यूट एनी वेयर ऑन एनी मशीन ओके सो दैट्स द रीजन जे वी एम इज प्लेटफॉर्म इंडिपेंडेंट दीज आर ऑल्सो द क्वेश्चन विच आर फ्रीक्वेंटली आज इन इंटरव्यूज सो मेक श्योर यू हैव अंडरस्टूड सो इफ द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट इज अंडरस्टूड यू कैन आंसर एनी सच क्वेश्चन इन द इंटरव्यू एज वेल सो दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट जे डी के जे वी एम एंड जे आर ई वॉच दीडियो ऑन आर चैनल लिंक इज गिवन बिलो